Hi all, we are PTE for sure. We are providing complete training to successfully crack PTE exam with your desired score. We will provide you tips and tricks to get 65 and 79 in PTE. After enrolling, our course's material would be provided online. For more information, kindly contact through WhatsApp or other details mentioned in the video. Take the coffee industry. The figures are roughly these. The coffee market in the world is worth about 60 billion. The growers get 5.5 billion. 10 years ago, the market was about 30 billion and the growers go a third of that. What has happened? What has happened is that well-meaning people, Americans, Germans, Europeans, decided that they would help Vietnam. And so they created a coffee industry there which is now the second biggest producers in the world. This has serious effects on other countries like Colombia that depend on coffee exports. Take the coffee industry. The figures are roughly these. The coffee market in the world is worth about 60 billion. The growers get 5.5 billion. 10 years ago, the market was about 30 billion and the growers go a third of that. What has happened? What has happened is that well-meaning people, Americans, Germans, Europeans, decided that they would help Vietnam. And so they created a coffee industry there, which is now the second biggest producers in the world. This has serious effects on other countries like Colombia that depend on coffee exports. thinking of doing the right thing or wrong thing. For example, if a task is well designed, people are likely to do the right things, otherwise, they are prone to make mistakes. Distraction, people will forget they are in the middle of doing something. For example, we usually forget to take the original copy after using the copy machine if something disrupts the thinking process. There are two strategies to avoid making mistakes. The chance to making mistakes depends on the quality of task design so you could polish the instructions. If the task is well designed, people are likely to do right things. People are likely to make mistakes. Remember to avoid distractions. The people who do photocopying might leave the original copy in the machine if the thinking process is disrupted. thinking of doing the right thing or wrong thing. For example, if a task is well designed, people are likely to do the right things, otherwise, they are prone to make mistakes. Distraction, people will forget they are in the middle of doing something. For example, we usually forget to take the original copy after using the copy machine if something disrupts the thinking process. There are two strategies to avoid making mistakes. The chance to making mistakes depends on the quality of task design so you could polish the instructions. If the task is well designed, people are likely to do right things. People are likely to make mistakes. Remember to avoid distractions. The people who do photocopying might leave the original copy in the machine if the thinking process is disrupted. Determinant human behavior is affected by internal and external factors. 
At the end of the lecture, the speaker mentioned that psychologists are interested in explaining human behavior. The determinant is influenced by two factors, the personal factors, which are internal, and the environmental factors, which are internal. The personal factors include people's belief on certain things and their individual thinking about it, while the environmental factors include temperature, air pressure and the others thinking about them. In conclusion, one's determinant are affected by both himself and the environment. Determinant, human behavior is affected by internal and external factors. At the end of the lecture, the speaker mentioned that psychologists are interested in explaining human behavior. The determinant is influenced by two factors, the personal factors, which are internal, and the environmental factors, which are internal. The personal factors include people's belief on certain things and their individual thinking about it, while the environmental factors include temperature, air pressure and the others thinking about them. In conclusion, one's determinant are affected by both himself and the environment. The comics I show you with lots of people chatting around in a room is a form of description. We use different kinds of methods to describe a situation. Sometimes we have to use visual description, particularly when we do not witness the scenario. I was born during the Second World War and my hometown is London, for example when one asked my mother about the war, one always asked her you have mentioned this or that when you talk to me when asked her about the shelter, I asked her what the shelter looks like and when did you do the shelter. From her response, I could get more visual evidence as I can to write my book. The comics I show you with lots of people chatting around in a room is a form of description. We use different kinds of methods to describe a situation. Sometimes we have to use visual description, particularly when we do not witness the scenario. I was born during the Second World War and my hometown is London, for example when one asked my mother about the war, one always asked her you have mentioned this or that when you talk to me when asked her about the shelter, I asked her what the shelter looks like and when did you do the shelter. From her response, I could get more visual evidence as I can to write my book. For better or worse, we live in a world profoundly affected by Sigmund Freud. If I had to ask you to name a famous psychologist, the answer of most of you would be Freud. He was the most famous psychologist ever and he had a profound influence on the 20th and 21st century. Some biographical information, he was born in the 1850s. He spent most of his life in Vienna, Austria, but he died in London and he escaped to London soon after retreating there at the beginning of World War II as the Nazis began to occupy where he lived. He was one of the most famous scholars ever but he was not known for any single discovery. Instead, he was known for the development of an encompassing theory of mind, one that he developed over the span of many decades. For better or worse, we live in a world profoundly affected by Sigmund Freud. If I had to ask you to name a famous psychologist, the answer of most of you would be Freud. He was the most famous psychologist ever and he had a profound influence on the 20th and 21st century. Some biographical information, he was born in the 1850s. He spent most of his life in Vienna, Austria, but he died in London and he escaped to London soon after retreating there at the beginning of World War II as the Nazis began to occupy where he lived. He was one of the most famous scholars ever but he was not known for any single discovery. Instead, he was known for the development of an encompassing theory of mind, 
one that he developed over the span of many decades. Let's say if I'm asking which source you often use to get information newspaper. Radio? TV? And the survey shows 62% of the people chose internet. You might be thinking I am going to say how important the internet is or how quickly it has changed the world for a few years. But what if tell you this survey is conducted on the website globallandmail.com? Our answer will be different because the people who did this survey on a website must be frequent users if internet. This sample is a biased sample. So we have to pay attention to how a survey is conducted. Let's say if I'm asking which source you often use to get information newspaper. Radio? TV? And the survey shows 62% of the people chose internet. You might be thinking I am going to say how important the internet is or how quickly it has changed the world for a few years. But what if tell you this survey is conducted on the website globallandmail.com? Our answer will be different because the people who did this survey on a website must be frequent users if internet. This sample is a biased sample. So we have to pay attention to how a survey is conducted. We all know water is good for us and that we should probably drink more of it. So why, then, do Americans find it so difficult to sip from what is arguably the foundation of youth? Answer vary, but the fact is, 1 in 10 Americans drinks zero cups of water per day, according to a study by Dr. Allison Goodman, a medical epidemiologist for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Zero. She suspects that those who don't drink any water, or very little, are getting it from other sources such as food and coffee, but warns this may not be enough. We all know water is good for us and that we should probably drink more of it. So why, then, do Americans find it so difficult to sip from what is arguably the foundation of youth? Answer vary, but the fact is, 1 in 10 Americans drinks zero cups of water per day, according to a study by Dr. Allison Goodman, a medical epidemiologist for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Zero. She suspects that those who don't drink any water, or very little, are getting it from other sources such as food and coffee, but warns this may not be enough. If you like our video kindly subscribe our channel and also press below bell icon. Thank you.